Obviously, I'm Ross Hell's kitchen off like a YouTube channel. And he came back home from the bar drunk again, next to the Elm Park. Right, once again, apologize to tell him about what he said about his mother. Anyway, we've got a real good show for you guys today. Make sure to like and subscribe for more, Ross. Look at this video of Callum and Ruffin on from Wayne. Oh, I love that. Oh, sorry, everybody. We had to cut that clip short. Callum made a racist joke. We own Ross from Hell's Kitchen, official YouTube channel, fighting against racism. More racism. Well, and then they need to support this message. Hey, Siri. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, At the park station, we have an emergency. We know where we are. 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 We Get it wrong. Y'all supposed to dip it, dip it, dip it. We at Elm Park Station about all the stealing of Elm Park's culture. We are sending our warriors. Thank you, more, that guy from the regular show. Now we are rolling the delivery on this fabulous segment of the show. White woman of Elm Park, surprisingly, this week it's not Vicky. So the Los Angeles Times reported that traditional masculinity is officially labeled harmful by the American Psychological Association. And this is absolute crap. What happened to real men? What happened to men who were the heads of the household back in the 50s and the 60s? Us women are sick of it. It was women as blood as a woman, I don't want a husband from the 50s is gonna beat my ass if I burn the needle. We're tired of seeing these beta males walking around, acting so sensitive towards everything. It's ridiculous. Traditional masculinity needs to come back. It is not harmful. Real women like real men. So Rihanna was walking out of her recording studio in New York, and she was pictured with this shirt on that's pretty political, and I'm kind of surprised, but it says, think while it's still legal. And that says a lot, in my opinion. Now, I said this in the Nicki Minaj video, and I'll say it here. There are many celebrities that are like closeted conservatives that don't voice their opinions on social media because they don't want to face backlash. But I think right now is better than ever for celebrities to come out and actually voice how they really feel because it's only going to go downhill from here. And for so long, they've stayed silent and sided with the wrong side. And now I think things are changing. Props to the celebrities who stand up for what they believe in and fight for what is right no matter what because those people are going to have real supporters in the long run. Girl, what the fuck is you talking about? What the fuck is you talking about? So I was reading this article and it says the problem with a fight against toxic masculinity and I just wanted to point out a few stupid things that I read. This article actually states that the detoxification of masculinity is the next pathway towards gender equality. It also blames mass shootings, gang violence, online trolling, and the election of Donald Trump on toxic masculinity. And I'm sorry, but that doesn't make any sense. I said it in my last video and I'm going to say it in this one too. Let men be men. Stop letting them wear makeup and paint their fingernails. It's pathetic. As for gender equality, there is no society where that would function and have a positive return on our society at all whatsoever. Gender equality will not happen and does not need to happen at all. There are specific things that make men men and women women. So we should keep- Girl, what the fuck is you talking about? Anyways, guys, thank you for watching episode one of Home Park, and thank you, Ross from Hell's Kitchen, for sponsoring this video. I'm in Eminem. Make sure to like and subscribe, or I'm gonna pull my pants.